have with us via Skype joining us Jason Cherry uh, from Jason Cherry Racing. And for those of you who watched the show, we had talked with Jason a couple of years ago and we're thrilled to welcome Jason back uh, to talk about some very specific things. But just as we were getting started um, and we were having a little bit of sound issues, so that's why I've got the phone, but you can see Jason there. Hi, Jason. Um, and Jason was saying to me, uh, I said, you know, we want to get you a little bit closer to the camera. And he, w he was saying, you know, the last time you interviewed me, I had a lot of uh, blonde hair and that he does not at the moment. And Jason, tell us why you do not have your blonde hair at the moment. Yeah, July 12th, I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. I just finished my fourth round of chemotherapy at John Hopkins. I have one more round of chemotherapy and then radiation that I have to go through. Um, just tripping through it, and um, you know, I'll be done with it before I die. Well, we want to give you our very best wishes. Everybody's going to keep you in their prayers. You are an amazing young man, and I'm devastated to hear that you're going through this. Um, but I, we're going to keep nothing but good thoughts, and you're doing really good right now. And we're we're thrilled that you're okay, and really honored that you would take the time to be with us while you're going through all the things that you're going through. And you were just saying during the break that you know this this really has put some things into perspective um, for you and your family. And looking, you know, I saw somebody last night who posted uh, something online about, gee, I was having a really rough day today. And then I thought about all the things going on in the world and I had the, the epiphany, boy, I've never had a really rough day. Um, but I'm sure that you have had a couple of rough days and, and that that really has shed some light for you on some different things. I want you to talk a little bit about uh, siblings uh, of autism and what this is and why you, uh, what your connection is to autism. Let's start there. Absolutely. So to give a little bit of background on my connection with autism, I had an older brother, Matthew Cherry, um, that was adopted from Russia at age three. We have a five-year uh, difference between us, so I was born into a family with autism. Um, you know, I've grown up with Matthew my whole life. He's high functioning on the autism spectrum, and you know, he's impacted me in every way possible. And, and, and I think one thing that's very true about Matthew is that he served as a as a blessing in my life and a blessing in disguise. And he's put a lot of things in, into perspective for me. So as I'm going through this chemotherapy, it's you know, I, I know that the only good is going to come out of this, just like just like everything with Matthew. Um, so I established siblings of autism in partnership with Autism Society of America to focus on distributing siblings, uh, distributing scholarships to siblings of those living on the autism spectrum. I recognize that the Autism Society is doing really great work um, helping those on the spectrum and that, you know, they have their plates full. And so one thing that I wanted to do was begin to help all the Jason Cherries and Samantha Cherries, Samantha being my younger sister of the world. Um, you know, just to help all those siblings that, have, that are currently going through what I've already been through, to help them recognize that this is just going to turn into a huge blessing, um, and, and to help them, you know, get, get on their way in life and, and pursue their dreams, which is why we're distributing $20,000 in scholarships this year and hope to raise much more money uh, in, in future years to come. So wonderful that you're, you're the best of autism siblings and I and I love that you're speaking out and helping others to know that this it's not the easiest thing being a sibling of somebody who's on the autism spectrum maybe it's not the hardest thing ever but it certainly isn't the easiest thing and you've turned this around and done something remarkable twenty thousand dollars in scholarships let's talk a little bit about what does somebody have to do to be eligible for a scholarship they simply have to be a sibling they can um, you know, we've had uh, entries of those that are on the spectrum as well, higher functioning, um, and, the, and the scholarships are to be used for educational purposes. They can be used for summer camps, um, many different things. All that information can be accessed on our website, siblingsofautism.org. Um, the, the deadline for this year's scholarships has already uh, been reached. We have been sorting through all of the entries. We received about 80-something submissions. Um, and we're choosing our winners right now. We're going to be announcing them in the next couple of days. Uh, but we'll absolutely be doing this next year, and hopefully we'll have more money than $20,000 to give away. 
And by, can I just say too that uh, as much as I love the blonde hair and I encourage people to go back and, and look at the blonde hair, this is a good look for you, Jason. I appreciate it. It's the Mr. Clean look, as I've been told. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. I think it's a really good look. You got a good shaped head. Your mom rolled you on your uh, on your head when you were a baby. Clearly, yeah. That takes unfortunately, skill. she didn't drop me too hard. <laughs> Uh, clearly, your mom did something right to raise such a concerned young man who not only is seeking his passion and doing well at it, but helping others while he does it, even when he's having obstacles of his own. So, Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. what do you think? Do you what do you think your parents did right to have you be so wonderful? Uh, absolutely everything. I mean, they, they provided opportunity for me. Um, you know, my mother really helped me recognize uh, that this that, that, that Matthew um, would turn into a blessing. That was something she always told me. She said that I may not understand it at the moment, but in years to come, I would understand why Matthew was placed into my life. And looking back at it, you know, all the things that I've been, been able to accomplish is all directly um, because of my experience growing up uh, with Matthew. Uh, and... And what advice would you give? I know that there are probably a lot of parents out there who have multiple children and there are siblings who are watching as well. What advice would you give to them about what you've been able to, how you've been able to look at this that's helped you? That's a, that's a difficult question. I mean, there's, there's a lot of advice that I would give. I think the most important thing is just understanding that it will turn into a blessing. It, you know, even when things are getting difficult, it'll absolutely turn around. It, it's it's going to develop their children that are non-ASD. It's going to mold them into who they are, um, and, and they're going to accomplish really great things in years to come. So again, we want to say that there's $20,000 worth of scholarships that you're in the process of giving away right now, but the deadline has already come for people to submit for this year, correct? Yep, that is correct. And okay. our top winner is going to be winning a $10,000 scholarship. So we have a $10,000 scholarship, one $5,000 scholarship, and then five $1,000 scholarships. And I'm personally funding all of them. So the goal is in future years that I'm able to take these videos, continue to personally fund um, additional scholarships, and hope that maybe some of our viewers and, and those that begin to learn about the organization are able to make some donations to help us grow this. And so again, they need to do a videotape and they can send it to you. Um, that we've got a website here, siblingsofautism.org is where you want to go and you can find more on information there. But there is a specific place where you submit your video to apply for a scholarship. The, the deadline has been met for this year. But can they, can they submit now for next year or, or does it open up later on in the year? So the way the website's formatted is technically we can continue to receive them. Okay. Um, it's, and we're absolutely happy to receive them and consider them for future years. So I, I would say, yes, they can continue to submit for next year. We'll continue to upload them to our YouTube channel. Those that are interested in viewing the current ones that have been submitted can go to Siblings of Autism. They can search the channel on YouTube, and, and they can begin to go through them. We're going to be announcing the winners pretty soon, and we're going to make sure that we post them on our Facebook, our social media, and on our website. Well, it's, it's an amazing thing when you think about um, how, and I know this is something that you've thought about a great deal, how financially draining it can be for a family when one or more children is on the autism spectrum. It's hard to say for college as it is. It's hard to put uh, anyone through college. And when you're dealing with all of those things, it would be easy for a neurotypical sibling to get shortchanged and for there just not to be enough money when it comes time to do something for them. So I love the fact that, uh, that you know, they can use this for education. It could be for summer camp. It could be for college. It could also for vocational training. Um, just absolutely amazing. And this is all, all of the money for this is coming directly from you, Jason? Yes, that's correct. Well, uh, you know, if people wanted to donate to add to it, do you have a, a, a way to do that yet? Yep, we have a donate uh, uh, tab listed on our website at siblingsofautism.org. They can get in contact with, uh, with us uh, through the website as well. They can also reach us through info at siblingsofautism.org if they're looking to get involved to help out with fundraising efforts. Um, you know, there's, there's many different ways that they can get involved. They can also make a donation directly to the Autism Society of America since we are working in partnership with them. 
Well, Jason, I've always been impressed by you and thought that you were just a, a really upstanding young gentleman. I, I'm more impressed now than I ever was. I am, I am so heartily sorry that you're going through this health-wise, but I'm glad to know that you're doing okay and that the treatment yep. is working out for you. And we're all going to keep you in our thoughts and our prayers um, for you to, to finish up with this. Um, I know, I know you said that you're, you're in remission right now and we're going to, we're going to pray for you to be all clear from here on. Absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. And please give our love to your entire family and tell them how impressed we are with how you guys are doing. We want to remind everybody, go to siblingsofautism.org to find out more. Jason, where can they go to follow Jason Cherry Racing? Yep, they can follow us on uh, through our website, jasoncherryracing.com. They can also access some additional information on Facebook. Simply searching Jason Cherry, it'll pull up the athlete page. Siblings of Autism is also on Facebook. Uh, they can simply search Siblings of Autism, and it'll pull up the organization as well. Okay, you're awesome. Uh, what a guy. We just, we just would it. like Thank to you clone you. We just need more of people like you in the world. You're remarkable. They exist. They absolutely exist. And that's something that I've um, you know, been very fortunate and blessed to be able to see these video submissions coming through. There's many others out there like me. Wow. And, uh, and I look forward to giving them the opportunity to be able to do what I've been able to do and, and um, hopefully uh, connect them on a national level. Well, I hope for that too. And we, we wish, wish you the best of luck in all things, including your racing. Thank you.